Hi, my name is Brandon, and today we'll be going over the Bullying Kata enclosure. We'll start by creating a new Speckle J project. And the first thing I want to do is start my tests. Now I'm going to describe a bowling game. And the first function that I want is a score function, so we'll describe score. And for a first test, we're going to start with a degenerate test, which is all zeros. So gutter game results in a score of zero. And that fails because score is not defined, so let's go ahead and define that. We don't care about what the first parameter is, so we'll ignore that and return 0. And that passes our first test. So for a second test, we'll bowl all 1s. All right, and that fails, so we'll take our first parameter, which is rolls. And we're going to take the first 20 rolls and add them all up. And that passes. So for our third test, we're going to try a spare. So spare adds the next roll to score. And that fails. Now for this test, we're actually going to need a helper function. So let's comment this out and test that helper function. We're going to call that two frames. And starting again with a degenerate test, we'll test it with zero rolls. So no rolls results in no frames. And that fails because two frames is not defined. So let's define two frames. Again, we don't care about the first parameter, so we'll ignore that and return an empty vector. And that passes. Let's go to our next test, which is going to be uh, one roll. So one roll results in one frame. So we get a failing test. Let's take our first parameter rolls. <coughs> and we're just going to say uh, if rolls is empty. Then we're going to return an empty vector. Otherwise, we're going to return that vector of rolls. Oops. And that passes. So next, we're going to do two rolls. Results in one frame. And that passes. So next, we're going to do three rolls. And that's going to be two frames. And that fails, so let's go ahead and change this to construct. Take two rolls, and we're going to pass this back into frames. We're going to drop two rolls. And that passes. So for our next test, we're going to test a spare. So spare adds next row to frame. And that fails because we wanted three rolls in the first frame. So let's go here. We're going to say if equals 10, uh, the sum of the first two rolls. So we'll reduce plus take two rolls. If that's the case, then we're going to take three rolls. And that passes our test. <coughs> so what we can do is refactor now, and we have this reduce plus in two places. So let's create a sum function. And we 
will change that out with sum. And that's still passing. Uh, next, we can take this out and create a spare function. And that's still passing as well. And then finally, we're going to take this block out and name that rolls for free. And that passes. And I think that's all we can do now. Uh, so let's go back to this test, uncomment it, and try to pass it. So from a score function, we can apply that to frames function. Take 20, take, I'm sorry, take 10 of those frames and flatten them. And now we can go over here and turn this into a lazy sequence. And that passes our spare test. Our next test is going to be a uh, strike. So strike adds the next two rolls to score. So that gives us a failing test. Um, so instead of testing that in our score function, we're going to test that in our two frames function. So let's comment that out, create a new test for strike as next two rows to frame. And that should equal 10, 5, 4, and then 5 and 4 here. So we want three rows in the first frame. So let's go over here. If either strike or spare. So equals 10 first row, then we're going to take three rows. And then now here we need to fix the second frame, so let's say if equals 10 first rows, we're going to drop one row. Alright, so now we can create our strike function since all of our tests are passing. strike down here as well and then we're going to take this block out and call this rest rolls all right and that's all we can do there one other thing I want to do is take this and turn it into a 10 function so let's define 10 and if n is equal to 10 Turn true. All right, and that's still passing. Uh, next, I want to shorten this up a bit. Instead of making a function, we'll compose a function 10 first. And that's still passing. Next, we want to do the same thing with spare. So, Pose 10 sum, and we'll do an anonymous function here for take two. And that's still passing. So now we can go up to our uh, strike test in score and uncomment that. And that passes. So let's go to our final test, which is a perfect game. So whenever you bowl all strikes, you should get a score of 300. And that passes. So now let's go back to our source code and see if we can refactor anything else. Um, now here I would like to uh, put rolls into a thread. So we'll do rolls, rest rolls, two frames, and a lazy sequence. And that still passes. Next, I'm going to thread rolls down here as well. I need to add rolls. And 
and that passes. And that is it. Let's fix our tests. All right. So now let's close this out and delete the project. And that's all. Thank you for watching.